What is good YouTube welcome back to a brand new video and today I have been hired on as the Philadelphia 76ers general manager and I'm here to change how the 76ers are going to go about their future. Other than that guys make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and leave a like if you enjoy this one. I'm very excited today because we're going to be doing the 76ers. I have a decision to make. You know I don't know if the 76ers GM in real life is ever going to make that decision. Wait, just kidding. I'm the general manager in real life. All right, let's just stop being stupid for one moment. But I'm going to either choose between Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid. I'm going to make a decision. Which one do I want to go with going forward? That's what I'm going to do today. I'm not going to keep both of them just to make this video a little bit more interesting. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. Other than that, guys, uh, if I look stupid and goofy with this headband on, that's the point. So uh, anyway, uh, Joel Embiid, obviously at the center spot. Ben Simmons, the point guard, Al Horford at the center. Obviously, going to move Al Horford to the four and Tobias Harris to the three. And then I think that's all we're going to do there for uh, this first season, basically. I'm going to let this Philly team just run it through. I mean, I think they might win a championship, to be honest, because this team is very talented and they're on it. Actually, the favorite. Okay, I can't do this anymore. I'm taking this off. I just kind of look stupid. Anyway, let's go to system proficiency. Three and a half starting at defense. Uh, let's go to pace and space because we go up to four. Other than that, guys, I think I'm just going to go ahead and simulate this first season. I don't really think there's anything I want to do, really. Uh, do we want to go, like, send maybe... Z I guess we could send Matisse Thibel to the G League and maybe Zara Smith as well. I think that's the only other things I'm going to do. Other than that, guys, I think I am just going to let it run through this first season. And we're going to see how this team does. And then after this offseason, no matter what happens, if we win a championship or not... I'm either going to choose between Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid. Which one do I want to keep going forward? So let's go ahead and simulate to the end of this first season. And let's see uh, if we can win a championship. <laughs> first season, LeBron James is your most valuable player. No surprise there. John Morant is your rookie of the year. D'Lo is your sixth man. And Kawhi Leonard is your defensive player. Tara Zier is most proved in Mike D'Antoni. Yep, okay, cool there. All NBA first team, all NBA second team. This stuff is relatively the same. All NBA uh, 13 for Ben Simmons. We are the first seed in the Eastern Conference. Really, I'm kind of hoping we don't win a championship because it would make more sense to trade between one of these two. But, I mean, the stats were great by both of them. I just don't know which one I'm going to choose between yet. Uh, do I want to trade Ben Simmons or do I want to trade Joel Embiid? Now, obviously, I could just keep them both and that would be fine. But then I don't think it would be much of a fun video because I could just keep the team the same. I really wouldn't be doing much of anything, in my opinion, anyway. But uh, we might lose to Detroit early on because they have Joe Johnson now. But we're up uh, on them, and we beat them in six games. All right, now we're facing Orlando Magic. Hopefully, we can beat them as well because I ain't trying to lose to the Magic either. Uh, we did beat Detroit in six, and now we're going to sweep the Orlando Magic. We made it to the Eastern Conference Finals against uh, Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. Can we beat them as well? Uh, okay, 2-1, uh, 3-2 for us. When is six? When it's we have been eliminated in the Eastern Conference Finals. That's it. Ben Simmons, you did bad. 14, 10, and 7. And did you shoot a three all year? If you if you didn't shoot a three all year, I'm I'm just like you're you're probably I'm probably gonna choose Joel Embiid because this is no time. Three pointers made. He made point one, so he had to have made one. Right? Right? Let's go look. He made seven. Wow. He did 46. Good job, Ben Simmons. All right, let's see who wins the championship. We got Brooklyn up 2-0, 3-0. And looks like Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving are going in the championship over LeBron and Anthony Davis, even though Kevin Durant's not even supposed to be healthy the first year. But that's all right. So let's go straight to league meetings and see what we can get out here. I'm going to reject that rule, of course. Go to the draft lottery. Do the 76ers have some random pick that I don't know about that I should know about? Let's double check. Um... Doesn't necessarily look like it. That's cool. Okay, now we have which pick do we have? If I can find it, uh, still not seeing it. Honestly, I'll just look in here. But anyway, Brett Brown, I'm gonna keep our trainer. We need a better. Oh, we need to get our trainer. And I was gonna want. Whoa, Greg Popovich is out here. But I'm not gonna fire uh, Brett Brown because he just had a good season for us. So let's go to the draft and let's see. So let's see what pick we might have gotten. Uh, we didn't have a first round pick. That's why we have four seconds. What am I gonna do with four second round picks? Literally nothing. So what I'm gonna try to do is flip these four seconds for a first. That's what I'm gonna try to do anyway. That's my plan. I don't know if it's gonna work. Let's go for number 16. 
Oh, dude, I was starting to think since the trade volume was so bad on that pick that it was like the second, 16th pick in the second round. What about 19? No, you're not giving me 19. Okay, how about you give me uh, 22? Thunder. Okay, so we moved up. I mean, that's cool. Moved up to 22. That's not bad. Moved up, uh, probably, let's see. That, I don't even know. I don't know math right now. But let's go to 22nd pick overall. And let's see what we get with at number 22. We should be able to get something decent. Isaiah Mobley. You gotta be kidding me. I'm definitely taking Isaiah Mobley here with the 17th or 22nd pick. Welcome to the team, my friend. You might be replacing Al Horford soon. But player options, Zara Smith, Firkin Korkmaz, and James Ennis uh, accept all of their uh, options. Qualifying offers, we have none. And then as far as free agency is concerned, I don't think we have really any free agents. We have negative $41 million. So yeah, not a lot of money to do anything with. And not a lot of free agents I need to worry about. So moment of truth. What would I rather do? Let's just see. What what could I get for both? Obviously, I'm not going to do that. But let's see what Joel Embiid pops up. So we get Middleton offered to us. Uh, Garland, Tatum, Trey Young. Marvin Bagley, Kuzma, Vucevic, Murray. None of these trades are that great at all. I mean, DeAndre Ayton was the best offer, and that's not even really that great of an offer. So, let's see what Ben Simmons would get me. Uh, ben Simmons is a lot younger than Joel Embiid. I just noticed that. Uh, Garland, Trey Young. Do we have to give up Al Horford, though? I don't want to do that. So, Trey Young would definitely replace Ben Simmons, but I don't necessarily want to give up Al Horford just yet. Darren Fox, Kuzma. First steps, Porzingis, dude, low key. Porzingis and Joel Embiid would be nasty. But do I flip Al Horford for a point guard then? Like, should I do something like that? That might be interesting. Elo, and we get Kavon Looney. And we give the Warriors Ben Simmons, who like literally wouldn't fit at all. I was about to say we could get John Wall and Bradley Beal, but we have to give up Al Horford. So I don't see the point of that. I mean, getting Bradley Beal would be cool and all, but Elo is looking like a nice offer, dude. Matisse Thibel, I don't necessarily like giving up Matisse Thibel uh, at all. But DeAndre Russell, Joel Embiid would just be like a different outlook, I guess. So, I mean, it would give us better shooting. But this Porzingis trade is just making me go, whoa. So let me see if I could get, if I can go get Porzingis. Let me see what this would get me, uh, what I could get as far as a uh, point guard. We can get Markel Fultz. Uh, let's see what other point guard. Devin Booker gets offered to me for Al Horford. So we could literally maybe get Devin Booker and Chris Stapps over here in Philly. I mean, I mean, yeah, let's do that. Let's get Devin Booker. I mean, come on now. Hopefully I still get offered DeAndre Russell. D'Lo, Devin Booker in the backcourt. Oh no, the trade went away. Oh my. Oh wait, what am I talking about? I wanted Porzingis. Wait, what did I just grab? I got Devin Booker. What am I talking about? Okay, so I wanted I wanted uh, Porzingis. I don't know what I was talking about. So we're going to have Devin Booker, Porzingis, and Joel Embiid. I mean, that is nasty, if you ask me. Uh, I mean, obviously, it would have been nice to get, what's his name as well, uh, DeAndre Russell, but I don't think we have enough money for that. We actually might. If I trade it Tobias Harris, I might have enough money to get D'Lo as well. Let me move Josh Richardson to small forward. I might do that, dude. That might be just like super, super nasty. Let's see. Let's see if they'd give me D'Angelo Russell. These are a lot of crazy trades so far. Uh, okay, D'Lo's not getting offered to me. But let me see. Uh, let me go back and let's see if I can get D'Lo from them. I mean, this would make D'Lo for D'Lo. Okay, or D'Lo for Tobias Harris. Let's go offer them a first round pick as well. No? How about uh, another pick? Dude, this would just be like the nastiest super team I've ever built. No? Come on now. Give me give me D'Lo. Give me D'Lo. I'll give you... Uh, Jonah Bolden. Okay, we're not gonna get D Lo. All right, so that sucks. All right, so no D Lo. Now I don't really need Tobias Harris though, and we don't need a we don't have a point guard anymore. So I I gotta trade Tobias Harris somewhere. Then I can move Jay Rich to the three. So Tobias Harris will be on the move. I I wanted D Lo in return. That would be awesome. John Wall is not like terrible by any means, but I don't know. I haven't got him in. Lonzo would be funny. Get Lonzo. Brogdon, Jamal Murray. Jamal Murray? Uh, you know, I, you know I, I, I haven't got Jamal Murray. I haven't got Jamal Murray in a while. Uh, actually, I don't think I've got him. On, ooh, I do not want to give up Isaiah Mobley, though. Let's see if they'll do this straight up. They want a first, and they'll give me Will Barton. All right, cool. Welcome. All right, so we got Jamal Murray at the point guard. This should be interesting lineup. I mean, I literally just changed, like, the whole roster 
in the matter of seconds. So one, two, three, four. Oh, let's move Jay Rich to small forward now because he's going to go back to small forward. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow. Okay. We literally just changed the whole course of this team in like a matter of seconds. I don't even know what I just did. Thank God I didn't name this a realistic rebuild because this so far has not been realistic at all. Not that I meant to be. Don't get me wrong. I just, I'm glad this wasn't a realistic. So, wow. Okay, so we got Joel Embiid, Porzingis, Devin Booker, Jamal Murray. I think the next step, if I could flip Jamal Murray eventually for D'Lo, that would be interesting. So we, this is going to be an interesting team nonetheless. It doesn't matter what I do now. This team is going to be good. That's all that really mattered. That's all that really mattered. So I'm really liking how this team's looking. This is going to be interesting. Hopefully we can go 82 and 0. Why not? But uh, we're gonna go to training camps. I'm gonna try to get, show you guys rotation before we start the season, just because I don't even know what this is about to look like, but it's gonna look nasty. That's all I know. So let's go to 2021 draft class by Jack Move 916, who finally updated it a few videos ago. It's been correct now. Uh, you know, previously on 2K, uh, the you know the draft classes weren't that great, but I think everything's fixed now. So Devin Booker, we're gonna go there. Let's give uh, Jamal Murray and let's give Mobley some untapped potential as well. And that should be good. Now, when we look at this rotation, this should just be like, Joel Embiid and Porzingis is going to be nasty. Don't, well, I mean, just don't even. So uh, we're going to go to nine-man rotation. We got Jamal Murray, Devin Booker, Josh Richardson, Porzingis, Joel Embiid, Will Barton, DeLon Wright, Isaiah Mobley, and Frank Kaminsky. Tell me this ain't a championship team. This, just tell me it ain't. Tell me it ain't. Uh, we're going to go to uh, seven seconds. But other than that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and simulate to the end of the season. And hopefully we can go 82 and 0. Two hours later. This marvelous second season. Anthony Davis is your most valuable player. LaMelo Ball is your rookie of the year. Cole Anthony. Anthony Davis also appears as defensive player. Yada, yada, yada. All NBA first team. All NBA second team. All NBA third team. All defensive first team. All defensive second team. So, we have the first seed once again. So, let's go ahead and see... With the changes, the player stats, we had 25 points from Devin Booker, 21 from Joel Embiid, and 20 from Mr. Porzing Goat himself, and 15 from Jamal Murray. So yeah, not bad at all. Josh Richardson is set to be a free agent, so we will lose out on him because uh, he is you know, sure to decline that player option. But we do always have Will Barton and Isaiah Mobley here developing as well. So I mean, it wouldn't be the worst thing to happen to us if we did end up losing Josh Richardson, but I'm going to try not to let that happen. So... We're up 1-0 on Orlando, 2-0, and can we just beat them in five, like, please? I was going to say four, but then they won one game, and we beat them in five. Cool. Now we're facing the Boston Celtics. Let's go ahead and see if we can beat Boston. We should be able to. We're up 1-0 to start, 2-0, 3-0, and sweep. Nope, 3-1, gentlemen sweep, and we beat them in five. Now we're facing the Milwaukee Bucks. Can we go ahead and secure the dub over Milwaukee? Two one. Oh my lord, why are we down 3-1? Why are we down 3-1? Can you explain to me, 2K? Because I am not understanding why this team that I have constructed is down 3-1. But it looks like we might be able to uh, force a game 7 here. If we can beat them at home, that would be absolutely extraordinary, man. Man. Let's see. All right. So, all right. It's looking good so far. Okay. 98-95. And it looks like we're going to win that one. 121-116. 33 points from D-Book. Can we make it back into the NBA Finals? Actually, we lost in the Eastern Conference Finals. What am I talking about? So, Game 7. Situation. All on the line here. It's all on the line. Oh, my gosh. That's a dub. Get out of here, Milwaukee. Get out of here. 40 points from Jamal Murray. Oh, my gosh. I was thinking about trading you in the offseason. But you just dropped 40 in an elimination game. And they... I, I can't. All right. Now we're facing the Los Angeles Clippers. Uh, they're up 1-0, 2-0. Don't lose the... Are you kidding me? I didn't even get the chance to freaking stop it. Paul George is your finals MVP. We lost in four. We just got disrespected. Like, it, man. All right, so let's get, let's just get in this offseason, guys. We got one more offseason to, you know, make this team the best it can be. Now, Jamal Murray literally just scored 40 points for me. But if I can get something better than him, I'm sure going to. So let's see if I can. Um, I don't really care about the lottery, uh, the picks right now. Uh, what about uh, head coach wise? Jacob Underwood is out here. I mean, I'm just going to keep Brett Brown. We've gotten to the NBA Finals twice with him. So we're sure to win one. Third time's the charm, right? So we got 
like four picks. Let's see. Jamal, what about this 27th pick and Jamal Murray? Let me just see what this could get me. Bledsoe, Zach Levine, Jimmy Butler, bring him back to Philly. That'd be interesting, but we would be without a point guard if we did this deal, unfortunately. Ennis Cantor, Buddy Heald, Nikola Vucevic, Miles Turner, Brandon Ingram, and Siakam. If I didn't have Porzingis, obviously Siakam, I do like him a lot. Uh, I do like this Jimmy Butler trade as well, but there's no point in me doing it. It would replace Josh Richardson because he is set to leave, but I would be without a point guard, and I'm not sure I would be willing to do that. But it might give us the best chance. I don't know. Jimmy Butler might go down overall. I don't know. I probably shouldn't do that. So what if I'm what I'm gonna do is just skip over rookie signing and see who they'll draft for me because oh wow, not very good. All right, so we're just gonna accept all of those guys. Player options. Or player options I meant to go to, not rookie signing. Josh Rich Richardson accepts or declines, and then Will Barton accepts his. Now, as far as qualifying offers are concerned, we have none. And then we probably don't have, like, literally any money in free agency. Like, literally none. Negative $40 million. Look at all this money, dude. Wow, that's like $120 million in payroll just to four players. That is insane. All right, and Will Barton's getting some money as well. We're going to have to pay Josh Richardson in order for him to stay. Man, as a GM, I am paying some luxury. Oh, the owners will be paying the luxury tax. But still, I'm making these owners pay some luxury tax. That's for sure. But, uh, I mean, I don't think we have a choice on letting Josh Richardson leave. I think we're going to have to we're gonna have to bring him back. Let's see if Jamal Murray, other you know, better trades could pop up for Jamal Murray. I doubt they will, but I'm just going to try it anyway. Chris Middleton, Kobe White, Kevin Love, Montrose Harrell, uh, Hunter, Jimmy Butler still being offered to us. Roger Robinson, Vucevic, Tobias Harris, Brogdon, uh, Clint Capella. Obviously, D'Angelo Russell is the dream scenario, but he's not getting offered to me anymore. Uh, Siku Devoya, Brogdon, and Miles Turner would be cool and all, but I just don't think. I mean, literally, I can't you know disrespect Jamal Murray too much. He literally did just got, score 40 points in like an elimination game. Giannis Antetokounmpo, if we had the money to bring him in, I would definitely do it, but obviously we don't. So, I mean, the only thing we can literally do is bring back Josh Richardson. And I think that's the only thing that makes sense to do. So, Josh Richardson, welcome back to Philly. Even though you said you didn't want to negotiate with me for whatever reason, whatever I did to you, it's just these players, you know, these players' moves just changed way too much on this game. Uh, he didn't want to negotiate with me, but now he's signing his four-year deal to come back to Philly. Uh, just out of curiosity, now that he's signed that four-year deal, what could I get for him? Let me just see. Uh, probably not as good, obviously good offers, but uh, you never know. Nicole, Nickel, we can't move. Okay, yeah, so none of these are that great. So I think I'm literally just gonna keep the same roster. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simulate to the end of next season. Uh, hopefully we can win more than 53 games, improve a little bit, build upon the chemistry and all that. And I believe in this team winning a championship. I truly do. <laughs> Instead of winning one more game than last year, we lost. Uh. You know by one we lost one game less so let's go ahead and see what the player stats were looking like for our team real quick before we jump into these playoffs this is gonna be the last season no matter what happens 29 points from Devin Booker 22 for Chris Esperzingis and 22 from Joel Embiid I mean come on now uh Jamal Murray's almost this is like literally four 90s basically this is like a god squad so let's go ahead and win this championship we are the second seed nonetheless so if we do get to the Eastern Conference Finals I have a feeling we might have to face Brooklyn again, but we did beat them once already. And actually, no, they beat us in seven. I forgot about that. But we are going up against the Knicks in the second round as we beat the Hornets in the first round. Let's go ahead and knock off the Knicks. 1-0, 2-0, 3-0. And let's get our revenge against these Brooklyn Nets who also swept the Toronto Raptors. So uh, if we can get past the Brooklyn Nets, we get to face Dal Dallas or Memphis. I almost called Dallas Dally. That would have been funny. But let's go ahead and see. Drop one out. Do not lose to Brooklyn. Do not lose to Brooklyn. I repeat, do not lose to the Nets, guys. Do not lose to the Nets. That's the worst way to end the video. Can't lose to Brooklyn. We cannot just lose in seven again. Let's let's at least beat them here. Do not do it, 2K. Oh my gosh. If I jump in, there's no way I'm coming back. You gotta be kidding me, man. We're gonna Dude, I'm just like in a rut. I cannot win a championship. It has like been three consecutive videos without one. Brooklyn and Memphis. All right, man. Let's see who wins the championship. Memphis, get their ass. Get them. Get them. No, the Nets win the championship. All right. Kyrie Irving is your 
Finals MVP, the Nets win a championship once again. Wow, dude. We made it to the finals twice in a row and the conference finals. I don't know, man. Anyways, guys, that's going to end it for me. It is like 2 o'clock in the morning right now, so I'm probably going to go hit the bed. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this one, this Crushables, and I'm saying peace.